I am Dr. Akhil Kapoor. I am a medical oncologist at Tata Mill Center, Varanasi. Today, I will just uh, focus upon one of the real-world case uh, about chemotherapy-induced anemia in advanced breast cancer. So, what we see in our uh, routine settings uh, when we are administering chemotherapy, a lot of patients develop anemia while on treatment. Uh, some of them have uh, nutritional deficiencies, which we try to correct it from the baseline itself directly. Uh, but still, despite correction of B12, iron, uh, and folate, uh, some patients develop anemia while on treatment. This is clearly chemotherapy induced anemia, which we do work up and rule out other deficiencies. Uh, this is a case of 63 year lady who was diagnosed to have metastatic CA breast, HER2 positive, and she was started on chemotherapy with paclitaxel along with. Uh, Trastuzumab and Pertuzumab, which constitutes a standard treatment in HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer. The patient uh, did well actually. Post three cycles, there was very good response. The lesions in the liver, lungs, and breast lesion had definitely come down significantly. But the patient developed significant amount of fatigue after three cycles. And when we evaluated the blood works, we found that it is uh, due to reduction in hemoglobin to below 8 gram per year. That is grade 3 anemia in terms of medical literature. So what we did, uh, the patient uh, was having a rarer blood group which was not very easily available. Uh, blood groups uh, were not available. So we administered uh, the patient uh, Davoprotein Alpha, 500 microgram, three weekly doses, along with uh, ferric carboxymal dose, which is our standard policy. Thankfully, the patient's hemoglobin picked up in the next seven to ten days, and the uh, patient was able to take resume chemotherapy cycles. And then we also gave uh, further doses of Davoprotein uh, till the time hemoglobin reached 10 gram per day. So actually, after three doses of Davoprotein and uh, ferric carboxymal dose given in the first cycle. Then for subsequently three weekly Dow protein was continued. Patient in fact, after six cycles had hemoglobin of 10 gram and above. So patients had a very good disease control. At the same time, chemotherapy induced anemia was very well controlled with the utilization of Dow protein. So it's a very important take home that if we are able to administer uh, Dabopertin along with iron preparations at the correct time, our patients will benefit in terms of continuation of treatment. There will be no significant interruptions and the outcomes also will be improved. So let's get home with this important point. Chemotherapy induced anemia is a real entity. It occurs very commonly, but it needs to be taken care and can be treated well if we are able to give uh, administered protein and iron preparations at the correct time. Thank you.